こんにちはみんなさんキッザプルーザにようこそ Hello everyone and welcome to Gitsa Palooza.、Uh, my son Carl is back from、uh, University of Richmond for Thanksgiving and we're taking the opportunity to play a little bit of Bushido. So we've got a nice little table set up. He's going to do his、um, syndicate and I'm going to debut my、uh, dogs and frogs list, which is、uh, Bakamono and the dogs.、Um, Keep in mind, I have no idea what I'm doing. I barely looked at the cards, so we're just going to be kind of mucking around today.、Um, so here's the table, and if you'll notice, I don't, I don't actually know if this is a real scenario set up or not.、Um, I can tell you that what we're going to play is not going to be a real scenario, but what the heck, why not have fun?、Um, so, what I've got are three idols. They're just three idols, just like normal. Except that rather than being straight across the middle, they're on a diagonal so that each person will have a friendly, a neutral, and an enemy. And then we will、um, kind of switch out what the objectives are. So, probably on turn two, it might be、um, the point for the, oh, probably the most、uh, points. You know, so if you turn an idol, you get a, a, a one point, two points, three points.、Um, I think maybe. Turn four will do the most friendly idols so that it, the, they don't count for points per se, but、um, whoever has the most friendly idols. And then we'll reset on three, and then we'll reset again on、uh, beginning of five, and then we'll do、uh, something for the end of the turn. I don't know what.、Um, probably,、uh, oh, probably what we did in turn two again. So it would be actually points for the idols by that time. So. Just a, a you know, we, Carl hasn't played in a while, so I wanted to keep the scenario simple, but I want, I get tired of doing the same stuff over and over again, so I thought I would mix it up and just kind of invent my own scenario. You guys have seen that before. Usually it's not because I'm inventing my own scenario, it's because I can't remember what the real scenarios are. So,、uh, anyway,、uh, I will be back. We'll talk about the armies, and then we'll get rolling. All right, everybody. So here is my、uh, first attempt at a dogs and frogs list. So the dogs you guys have seen a whole bunch of times. It's the Kai Hei.、Um, so I've got the Alpha and the four Kai Hei to go along with it.、Uh, I love that group. However, I'm used to having them supported by a couple of big Oni that buff them. And instead, I have some、um, Bakamono that don't buff them. But.、Um, And actually, am, am I missing? No, I guess I have nine figures. That's right. So, what I'm adding、um, is、uh, I've, got, I've got a Rincho. Rincho, that's right there. So, you can technically have two of them. They're actually really good fighters by normal terms, not just by Bakamono terms, but they're also very expensive. They're 16 points a pop. I've got、uh, Track. Who is my samurai, but, but he's still a bakamono. I have Hiratsuna, who is my ninja, who is also still a bakamono. So even though, even though Track and, ninja, and, and、uh, Hiratsuna have all these cool extra abilities, they're, in the end, they're still bakamono.、Uh, and then I have Trapeng, whose、um, special, one of his abilities. Is just terrifying.、Um, he's got a snare that has a 12 inch radius and it costs two key and it's an instant key feat.、Um, so it is just miserable. So he should be kind of cool and he's not super expensive. So don't expect him to kill anybody in a battle. But、uh, anyway, and then、uh, that's it. So these are the four. So these are, believe it or not, these guys are 40. For all five, and these four are the other, well, they're about 52. So I've got eight points worth of cards. I chose, I'll show you on the cards. I chose Ghost Heart Mushroom for Hiratsuna. I chose Poisoned Weapons for Rincho.、Um, Trepeng is on his own, and then Track has got Hotai's coin. And then on top of that, I've got the totem pole, which will give me a little extra key. And then, of course, I've got the horde and thousand eyes theme. So,、um, 
It should be interesting. I mean, it should be fun. I also have some regular horde bakamono, so if I get the chance, I can, and I have enough key, I can try to summon them in. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it's going to go. Uh, I'll show you Carl's army in a minute. Um, it's his newest army, which is um, the syndicate, which is, he's done a beautiful job painting. So anyway, um, sorry, I know everything looks gray because I haven't like finished. Uh, the only one that's actually finished is the ninja. And I guess that um, Rincho is pretty close. I've got, I actually have two of the Rincho for like a, when I run a hundred point Bakamono list, I've got enough that I can do that. But um, Trepang should be in red armor and he's not. And I'm, I'll do something for his robes to make him look a little different. But I think they'll be easy enough to tell apart at this point. So I will see you back in just a minute with um, Carl's Syndicate army and then we'll get going. Here we are with Carl's Syndicate army, beautifully painted. I'm going to hand the mic over to him and let him explain to you who everybody is and what they do. Okay, so first thing is Melosi. He's a sumo, very attacky. This is Yokozuna. He's kind of a support sumo. And then this is Manu. He's a defense sumo. Uh, this model is subbing in for Rocky, who is kind of a luck kami. He does one just out with three rolling dice. And this is Hanami. She's one of the roses for the faction. So she's got a couple of things, like she's disguise six. And uh, she can make models that come base to base, that come into base to base with her uh, to have a control marker. Uh, that's it. Sounds pretty good. All right. Here we are with our deployment roll. I have a model with Scout 1, so I get to add 1 to this die roll. Uh, I have a 5, plus 1 is a 6, which is just barely enough to beat Carl. So I will have Carl deploy first. We'll see you at the end of deployment. Here we are after deployment. Uh, Carl deployed first. So you can see he's kind of scattered across the line there. We're using the old key tokens to mark whether uh, our activations. And then, so there's, he's got the gal that's got light footed in the river so she can run all over the place. And then uh, I have my dogs as a group over here so they can be mutually supporting. Trepang is up there having Scout, and then uh, my two fighters are right here. And then my ninja, my sneaky ninja with, uh, with zero, he's got, he's got the stupidest thing. Um, camouflage zero. So as long as I keep him in cover, nobody can see him. That's hilarious. So, uh, so there we go. Uh, I have some Bakamono in reserve. So if I get enough key that I can start summoning him in, that uh, that would be amusing. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Carl, why don't we roll to see who's going to take the first turn? And Carl wins this one. So Carl, do you want me to go first or you want to go first? I'll defer. All right, I will go first. I will see you guys. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any live filming for the first turn. So because um, we're not going to get anywhere near each other. Darkness is in effect. Um, do you to the Horde card or do 2,000 eyes, one or the other. Um, and uh, sorry, uh, so I just wanted to say this. I've never played Bakamono. I've barely looked at the cards. So I I'm going to do my best, but I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. I'm just going to play. You know, this is the one chance I get to play Carl before he goes back to college. So we've made a pretty board. We've got some new models on the table and we're just going to have fun. So if you want to come along for a ride, cool. If, if me screwing up rules is you know going to drive you nuts then you probably want to skip this video and maybe jump in on the next one so uh we'll talk to you later carl good luck anything to say to the folks nope nope good all right cool well we'll uh we'll see you guys in a bit after we're done with turn one
End of turn one. Uh, no combat. However, everybody has moved forward very aggressively. I summoned a Bakamono of uh, who knows what type. I'll have to pick a card, I guess. A beater or something like that. And um, so I had him summon in near Trepang, who is right here. So he was a little forward. He was able to get to the center objective in a single move and then influence it with his second activation. And then Trepeng went over here with his first move and then activated this idol with his second activation. So at the moment, I have two idols turned uh, for a total of three points. So I've got one for that one and two for the one in the middle. Um, the dogs moved up and towards the center so they can kind of support the bakamono. And then, so I've got um, Track over here, getting, giving himself a little cover behind there. Um, Rincho is right in the middle. And then my ninja, sneaky ninja, is behind the, uh, the, the bridge. So, and by the way, there is my totem. So my totem gives me two extra key. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm actually gonna take that and make it my permanent totem. So I'm gonna mount it on a 30 millimeter base. Um, and I'll blend it in so it looks good. But that, I think, looks like a pretty good totem. Maybe I'll put a bird on it or something. Um, so anyway, uh, on Carl's side then, um, he, he, we've got one sumo reading the, the public uh, announcement board. We've got the other two trundling up between the woods and the rocks. We've got Rocky on the rocks, so good old Rocky Top. And then... What's her name again? Hanami. Hanami. So Hanami influenced that idol for in to Carl's favor. So um, things should get really interesting here. Turn two should be brutal. But uh, we'll see what's left at the end of turn two. Um, I will, uh, if we get into an interesting fight, I'll be sure that I'll, I'll do it live so you guys can watch all the mistakes that we make. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Uh, and we'll see you in a bit. All right, here we are. This is the end of turn two. Uh, it's been interesting. I haven't mentioned it, but I've been summoning Bakamono Horde. So I have a beater and I have a spearman now. Um, so Carl has got, I have got, he's got so many pass tokens that basically my entire army becomes exhausted before he has to move a figure. I had the same problem with Ben the other day and that's because the, with the Horde, the Bakamono um, group activate. So um, it, it kind of puts me in a tough position. I actually had to move back away from the central idol because otherwise his guys would have just tossed me around. Um, and, uh, you know, if you get them throwing you like bowling balls into each other, everything becomes prone. And then, you know, the game's effectively over at that point because you don't have any activations and you're prone and they just walk up and kill you. So I backed off. I gave up the first victory point because he has that one worth the two and that one worth three. Um, and we'll see what I can do with this next activation. Um, he's bunched up, which is really good for him. That's a smart move. Uh, I do have my alpha dog way over in the back, kind of making a flanking maneuver. I have Hiratsuna over here in a, or not Hiratsuna. Um, yeah, Hiratsuna tucked away over there. So maybe he can, he can do an outflank maneuver. Um, I got to do something um, because facing all four of these guys with them throwing me into each other is just not going to be very good. Uh, but I have two turns before I have to worry about the next objective point. So, or I mean the next victory point. So we'll see what happens between now and then. End of turn three. Um, I, I, I lost a, uh, I lost a dog. I lost um, Hiratsuna uh, to the gal who just beat him up. 
um, you know, he's only got four, four health, so not much there. Uh, and then the so far, the gal has been the most effective figure in his army. Uh, Trepang walked into her, got instantly automatically controlled. Uh, he charged into her, so he was out of activations, and so he just sat there. Um, I summoned another Bakamono who turned the idol. So right now I have all three idols in my favor. However, I am losing fights brutally. Um, the uh, Rincho is down to just three wounds. Uh, like I said, one of the dogs is gone. My ninja is gone. And uh, everything else is... I, I did some insignificant damage to a couple of his models, but that's about it. The, the sumo are just really useful but on top of that you know the the fact that that little girl in the back is killing everything it's or taking it over is pretty funny so anyway uh it's turn three right now i have all three idols uh that won't matter unless i can hold at least two of them for one more turn uh i am sorely uh, you know the one of the huge problems with this army is that i have a total of six activations and he has more pass tokens than i have activations so i am exhausted before he has to move a model. So that is, uh, you know, I had the same problem with Ben a couple of games ago and got wiped out there, and, and so I'm having the same trouble. Um, here I have a little bit more models, but, uh, you know, I have kind of the same problem. You know, this army presents a lot of the same issues, which is I have to activate fully before he even moves, and he's got guys that can throw me around and prone me, which is, again, what the dragon and some event stuff can do. So this is very similar to that last army I faced, and uh, things aren't quite going as badly. I have survived beyond turn two, which I did in the other game, but uh, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go from here. So uh, I guess that's it. We will um, see what happens. Sorry I haven't been showing you. There have been lots of fighting, and, and but I'm because I'm still trying to figure out the Bakamono, I haven't been doing the live action shots because I, I just don't know what I'm doing. So I don't want to bore you guys while I sit there with my nose of the book trying to figure out what these models do. So uh, just consider this a play test, I guess. But at least you get to see some nice models on the table. So we'll go from there. Uh, right. Uh, we'll be back at the end of turn four. Or if something interesting happens, maybe we'll be back before then. All right, here we are at the end of turn four. Uh, I don't have much left. Um, the I, I just don't. I there's you know I, I don't want to complain on screen. I just I just there's not a lot I can do against this army. Um, especially he was smart. He bunched it up, which limited my ability to outnumber things, and it wouldn't have mattered anyway because he can throw everything, and um, he doesn't get tired out the same way that it does. Anyway, it, it's been a rough go. Um, however, I, I do have a lot of models, or at least I did. So I was able to activate, how's that first shot? All three idols are pointing towards me. So I will get the second uh, victory point. So at least I'm not getting shut out. Um, however, I, am, I, am, I have lost a lot of guys. Um, so I don't have a heck of a lot left. Um, so we are going to go on to turn six, the last turn. So we're going to reset the idols and then... Um, the last one will be once again by points. So for me, this will if I get this these turned to me, it'd be this would be worth one, this would be worth two, or three, and the same thing for Carl. For him, it's one, two, three. Um, I don't know if this makes any sense, but what the heck? This is what we're doing. So uh, we will see you. The you know this this last turn, I also rolled really badly. I, I would have like one die because I'm down to one die and I would roll a one on defense, you know, so he was just killing some of these models outright because I was rolling so poorly. But, but things to be said, I have exactly the same issue with this army facing this army as I did facing Ben's, um, Ben's army, which is just, uh, you know, there's, there's n whatever I do is wrong, uh, because of the special attacks and defenses that the sumos get for zero. And um, so 
It's kind of, it's, and the fact that I have to move my whole army before he does have to move a single figure. That's a huge disadvantage. Um, you might think it was an advantage, but so far it has proven to me, so far to me, to be a huge disadvantage. So I don't know. Um, but then again, it's a first outing with the army, so I'm sure I'll get better with it. But we're going to play this out. And we are tied, so we have every reason to play it out. We'll see what happens uh, over the next couple turns, but I'm sure they'll go pretty quickly. We will uh, see you in a bit. Okay, regardless of how I think this army works, this has not helped. I have rolled on single defensive die, which is what I'm down to in most of my battles. I have rolled ones six out of the last seven times. I don't know what to do. Um, I do have prowess melee, so I'm going to re-roll this. Let's see if I re-roll it into another one. No, I re-rolled it into a four. Well, there we go. So more than a one for once. Uh, it doesn't help me a hell of a lot. So but... five, four, five, six. So I hit you on the one. Okay. Plus uh, two. This is this battle right here. Uh, eight, nine, ten on the one. I Wait a minute. I have armor one. Uh, nine on the one is two damage. And I have umbrella block. Uh, I factored that in. Oh, you did. Okay. So how much? I am still alive. There you go. End of turn five. I am still holding on by the skin of my teeth, um, though the dead keep piling up. Uh, I lost another Bakamono that last turn. My poor alpha dog is getting thrown around by the sumo wrestler. The other two dogs and the ex summoned in Bakamono, our uh, horde figure, are holding on to that idol. And even though they're under assault, uh, I am holding on to this idol, just barely. However, it's turn five, so it doesn't really matter. I got to survive yet another turn. So we will see. We're moving on to turn six. It is a one-to-one -one tie, and uh, it's anybody's game at this point. But it's definitely uphill for me because I have to, I have to somehow hold on. Um, I hope I can draw enough key to, to summon a, a Bakamono. I think I can just barely do it, and uh, we'll see if I can survive. We'll see. Here we are at the end of turn six, and unbelievably, the the um, dogs and frogs list won. Um, it was, I mean, it was no brainer as far as damage. There's my dead pile. <coughs> There's Carl's. And the only reason he's got a dead guy, remember that's uh, that he sacrificed him in order to get the dice switch stuff. Um, so I, I didn't actually kill anything or get close to killing anything. However, when I, I was had enough models that I just kept throwing things in his way, the fact that things were dying, I guess this is probably how the Bakamono work. I just kept summoning in schmuck after schmuck after schmuck, and he kept killing schmuck after schmuck after schmuck and my regular guys, but in the end, look, there's a summon Bakamono that got on that objective and turned it, and there's a summoned Bakamono who is the last man standing and tied up um, the, the last two Bakamono, which was Trepang and, and this Spearman, tied up these two Sumo enough that they weren't able to get to the uh, idol and turn it. So in the end, um, the uh, Dogs and Frogs beat a really good list that was just kicking my butt all over the place. But um, I managed to throw up enough interference and have enough uh, uh, um, interactions that I could win two points to one. So that was really good. Um, it was a really good game, but it was frustrating, actually, for both of us, I think. It was frustrating for me because I just couldn't, you know, I never did really do any damage of any, you know, significant amount to him, and he just kept ripping through me. But 
couldn't get to the idols fast enough. Um, so uh, maybe that's how this list is supposed to work. But I'll tell you, having to move everything before he moves anything is really a tough way to make a living. Um, it's a little different with the Oni because you have the Oni. So, you know, you, you get in there and you can beat some things up and, and really be obstacles, sort of like the Sumo are in this list. But uh, here I don't have anything close to that. You know, I just have a bunch of lightweight stuff. The heaviest weight thing I have is the dog and Rincho. And uh, Rincho's good, but you know, we, yeah, uh, Carl did seven damage in one swing. And that meant even with the, with the healing, the Rincho was kind of SOL. So anyway, it was a fun game. I'm glad I got to play um, my son back from college and I'll look forward to Christmas vacation when we can work on this some more. And I'll get my Bakamono finished up so they look proper and uh, we'll go from there. So you guys uh, th have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe and comment if the, you are inspired to do so. Um, please don't make comments about the rules we got wrong. I know I got millions of rules wrong. I forgot things and probably did things wrong. Um, I mean, you're welcome to comment on it, but you know, it's not a, it's not a surprise at this point. I have no idea what I'm doing. Carl's only played his army a couple times, so we're both still learning. So, uh, so yeah, if you want to make a rules comment, please do. But you know, it's, it, at this point, it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. We made mistakes. So, uh, guys have a great day and thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time on Kitsapalooza.